Well, his art can be seen all over San Diego from Logan Heights to La Mesa. Sandra Torres now with Mario Torero, rooted in the history of San Diego, bringing a message of hope and unity. He's as rustic as the van that carries the tools of his trade. Armed with a paintbrush, Mario Torero is ready to stir up controversy with art again. So you have weapons of mass destruction, which is obviously a lie now, they didn't find it. And then you have weapons of mass construction, which is, is what we're working on. Mario, who is originally from Peru, has a passion that's contagious. For more than three decades, he spent countless hours painting on the pillars under the Coronado Bridge. These helpers were once strangers. Today, they pick up brushes wanting to be part of Torero's mission. Mario is one of the original muralists here at Chicano Park and a member of the Chicano Civil Rights Movement called El Movimiento. Come up here for those people who want to stay together. Together, he and dozens of community leaders and just plain old citizens fought for this land. We were here uh, when this part, when they fought for the park. It is the, it is truly, truly a piece of his San Diego history. Uh, I think anybody jump at a chance to, to participate, be involved and support it. The land was part of Barrio Logan, one of the largest and oldest Mexican-American communities on the West Coast. In the 50s, the area's zoning laws were changed from residential to industrial, bringing junkyards and pollution. The community had had enough. The final straw came in 1969 when the Coronado Bay Bridge was built, piercing the heart of the barrio and bringing the community to its feet. There was walkouts, the artists came out, students came out, the community came out, and we, we picketed the land and took it over and created Chicano Park. The park became a symbol of their victory. Artists documented the struggle on the empty pillars. The colorful murals now cover most of the cement pillars, each one telling a different story or a piece of history. We're going to leave behind is art and books photography, documentation, that this movement, the revolution really did happen. Torero believes the future of Chicano Park lies within today's generation. Today, we have seen the change. It's a, much, it's, it's a, it's a very beautiful and peaceful place. The community is, uh, has been uplifted. For Mario Torero and his fellow artists, Chicano Park remains a work in progress. But this time, Torero and his followers have colorful, rich plans for the empty, dark, cold pillars they call their canvases. Mario plans to travel to Barcelona, Spain. He says he'll deliver a handful of earth from the park, along with a heart full of passion. Gracias for watching Stories de la Frontera. Until next time, hasta la próxima.